It's time for episode four of my spring series, and this week it's all about white asparagus. I'm pairing them with the perfect combo of blue cheese and strawberries for a lovely light spring starter or a lunchtime salad. So for my blue cheese element, I'm making a crumble. I'm using roquefort, but you can use any hard blue cheese like Stilton or Gorgonzola Picante, and just going to cube that up and add equal parts of cubed cold butter and some rough chopped walnuts for a bit of extra crunch and bitterness which will go really well with the bitterness of those asparagus and contrast with the sweetness of the strawberries all going to work together trust me so then we're just going to rub those into some flour until they start to combine and clump together and we can form little crumbly clumps <laughs> As so, then these can go onto a baking sheet and into the oven until they're nice and golden brown all over. So now for the asparagus, we're going to start by cutting off the woody end, which is about an inch off the bottom. And then we're going to peel all of them because the outside is really fibrous and not nice to eat. Then onto the strawberries, which are in season in France and Spain now. So we can start getting those and the sweetness works really well with the asparagus. So we're going to thinly slice them and keep the middle prettier slices to go on top of our salad and then all the ends and let's say less pretty pieces we're going to dice up to cook for our vinaigrette those diced strawberries i'm going to cook them for the vinaigrette by just putting them in the microwave for like 30 seconds just so they are mushy and then leaving them to cool down then seasoning them with some salt, some black pepper, some balsamic vinegar, strawberries best friend, and some extra virgin olive oil and just whisking that until it's all emulsified and combined. Then give it a little taste to see what you think. I thought it needed a little bit of mustard for that little sweet heat. So I added a teaspoon and tried it again and thought it was perfect, but just see what you think if it needs a little more acidity, a little bit more salt and then we're good to go. Now, all that's left to do is to cook our white asparagus. I think they're best steamed, but you could boil them as well. One important thing to bear in mind is that the tip will always cook faster than the stem, so you wanna make sure that they're facing upwards if possible. As you can see, my lid didn't fit, so I fashioned one out of tin foil, and that worked really well. Just steam them or boil them until they are tender, kind of al dente, so you can just prick them with the point of a knife, and then run them in some cold water and serve them slightly warm and that's it we're ready to assemble a little bit of our strawberry vinaigrette our asparagus our lovely crumble and the slices of strawberry on top and there you go beautiful and delicious as always the full recipe is on my website which is in the description 